Hey curl friends, it's me, Naturally Sage. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all on how I moisturize my hair for a seven day long road trip. I am so excited, you guys. I can't wait to get out of the city and I can't wait to see some mountains. We are going to be going to Denver, Colorado and then over to Salt Lake City, Utah. And then we're going to be ending the trip in Yellowstone, which is in Wyoming. I am so excited. I am going to be using, you guys, this is the most moisturizing cream I've ever used in my entire life. It is also the most expensive moisturizing cream I've used. It is the Double Butter Cream by As I Am. I'm telling you guys, so as you can see, my hair type is like type 3C-ish, I don't know, I don't really follow the hair typing, the hair typing system like really strictly, but my man's hair is like 4C-ish and you guys know, well, I don't want to assume that y'all know anything, but when you have 4C hair, you have to moisturize it just a tad bit more, like he, you, I don't want to say it like that. When you have 4C hair, your main goal is moisturization. And I know it's hard to take advice from somebody whose hair is less coarse than yours because I know my hair falls more than people with 4C hair. But I'm telling you guys, if you have type 3 hair and type 4 hair, this product... <laughs> Every time I go on any trip, this is the conditioner that I use to twist up my hair or braid up my hair because, like, she's not going anywhere. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> this conditioner is going to keep you moisturized for days i don't normally do product recommendations where i'm like obsessed with the product because i'm always scared because when you have natural hair it's not a thing that you do you don't just tell everyone every single product that you love because we all have different hair and it all works differently but like this is a product that i just want you to try i just want y'all to try it and let me know how it works for you if you have fine hair or thinner hair this may not be the best product for you because this is a very thick product and it might weigh your curls down a little bit all i'm saying is the moisture that i receive from this product is on 10 up here like the 10 10 like no no okay so let's get to it okay <laughs> so let's get started anytime Anytime that I'm doing a half up, half down situation, the first things first is that part from ear to ear. That is the first thing that we're gonna do here. So just kind of always start right here where your ear is and then slowly make my way up and just let my fingers meet. So today also happened to be a wash day for me. Um, my hair had some buildup that just needed to go. So I used, what did I use? I used my As I Am Coconut Co-Wash, go figure. So y'all know that I love to add oils to my deep conditioners because I feel like it moisturizes my hair a ton. And I'm trying to pick the thickest products I know so my hair can stay nice and moisturized. So that's why I picked my double my double butter cream say that five times fast and then i'm going to go in with some of my organic castor oil and i'm going to go ahead and by the way this is just the situation i'm not mixing or i'm not measuring or anything like that i'm going to go ahead and put the links down below too just in case y'all didn't know where the hookup was on castor oil so now that my hair is all sectioned off, I'm gonna go ahead and start the twist on the bottom. I know this is not the fun part, so I'm not gonna be filming this part for too long for you guys. Can you all tell I just did my eyebrows? 
I wax them by myself. Don't ask me how. Maybe one day I'll make a tutorial, but it's scary every time. I've been doing it for like two years, but it doesn't matter how long you do it, it's still just scary. So I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but today also happened to be wash day. And I started out with my As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And then when I was rinsing my hair out, this is an indicator for me that I still have some buildup. I was using my nails and kind of just giving myself a scalp massage. And I noticed that I had residue under my nails. So I went in with just a little bit of my ORS Curls Unleashed Sulfate Free Shampoo. Just kind of went in with my scalp, gave it an extra massage to make sure I got all that buildup off. And then I used my TGIN hair mask. I can't remember which collection it was from. I think it was the Honey Collection, but I'll go ahead and make sure just in case. But I used their deep conditioner and left it in for like an hour or two while we were packing. And then now I'm gonna go in with my double butter cream and go ahead and twist all my hair up in the back. And then when I come back, we'll talk a little bit more about traveling with your natural hair and some products that I recommend. And then also just some techniques that I recommend throughout the process because it really is a planning process. You have to prepare your hair just like you're gonna prepare all your clothes and all that other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist up this back. I know y'all don't wanna see me twist my hair up again for the millionth time. So it's like now midnight on Sunday and we're leaving tomorrow, but that's just one thing that I love about my mans. Like we're both so peaceful right now and so excited about the trip that we we're not even worried about like scrambling to get everything together. We know that everything is gonna be fine in time and that we're gonna get everything together just how we need to and that we're gonna be right where we need to be. Okay, so I got the back done in in like impressive time. I don't I don't know what's going on. I feel like every time I go on a trip though, I'm just like super excited and I can't sleep and yeah. I decided to do it this way where I put my hair up first and then twist my whole head because wherever we land, I'm gonna be able to just take my twists out and be done with it. I'm not gonna have to like try and slick it up or pull it back or do anything with it. It's just gonna be ready to go. Okay, my second road trip essential is a good gel. My favorite go-to gel that doesn't flake my hair is my Aunt Jackie's flaxseed elongate, I can't say it, flaxseed elongating curl jelly. This gel gives me a really good hold and it doesn't flake my hair off and it really does elongate my curls a little bit. So I'm gonna be layering the double buttercream first and then putting the gel because I want my hair to still be moisturized. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm kind of obsessed with moisturized hair. When my hair was transitioning, the two things that I started to focus on that really helped my hair start retaining length was deep conditioning and keeping my hair moisturized. So I'm always gonna talk to you guys about deep conditioning and I'm always gonna bring up moisturizing too. Okay, let's do it. My camera has this like little square that it puts around your face because it helps it focus on your face, but it's, I can't see. I can't see this part of my head. And it keeps following me. Curl hack. <laughs> that wasn't me. I don't know who that was, but that was not me, okay? Curl hack. A lot of times when I was doing braids, like in a half up, half down situation, I would not know what was wrong with it, but knew that something was a little bit off. And 
after three years I finally figured it out so instead of taking so this is the spot where I started with my rat tail comb instead of taking that and putting it straight back or just putting it straight as a diagonal line I kind of made it curve so I went like this started here and went like around because your head is curved right so the braid is going to be like nice and curved and that may sound silly to some people but that is such a big part of making braids look right is having the right technique in the right direction of your parts so keep that in mind oh nothing nothing's happening my backdrop's just falling on me fine. I said it's fine. It's so unprofessional. I really don't ever want to be like one of those pages where everyone who looks at it thinks that I'm the most perfect human being ever because I'm not. And I just want y'all to know that like I'm a real human being with real feelings and really real shortcomings as a person and some really great things as a person. I just, things don't go perfect and life isn't perfect and I'm not perfect and you're not perfect. I just, I just never, oh yikes, my beat. I just never wanna come off as perfect I always want to come off as human. So, if I'm not doing good on my goal, let me know. The key is no pressure. It's just a braid. No big deal. We're just, just going to braid the hair back. You know, I know what I'm doing. I know, I know how to do this. I can do this. This is more Aunt Jackie's because, like I said, it does things. You see that? I didn't do the best job with this twist, trying to get it away. Watch me struggle for the next however long I let y'all see. It'll be a while. When you get to the ends, make sure that you're re-moisturizing. As you can see, my hair is not looking super moisturized on these ends. Our whole goal of this is moisture. Okay, now that it's entirely too late and I'm exhausted, it's on to road trip essential three, four, and five. Number three, for obvious reasons. Number four, whoop, more obvious reasons. And number five, you're gonna need yourself something silk to either sleep on or wrap your hair in at night. So make sure that you're either bringing a silk scarf or a silk pillowcase. I like to have both, as well as a cotton pillowcase because, um, you know, I bring my own pillow. So I'll put the cotton pillowcase on and then I'll put the silk pillowcase on and then a silk wrap if, if I need to. But you just, you just can never be too safe. Ooh. 
So these braids are eventually gonna come down this part, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it all the way braided because moisture, moisture, your hair needs moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is how close I am to my stupid backdrop because I'm going to go ahead and twist up my ponytail and then we're going to lay my baby hairs, sit with my scarf on and then we'll be, we'll be good to go, good to get in the car in like, you know, seven hours, maybe six at this point. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, now that my hair is all done, I just twisted these up. I feel nice and moisturized. I laid my baby hairs a little bit with the edge control. By the way, that edge control was by Dugro. And then I wanted to end the video with just some of my other road trip, well, not just even road trip, but some of my other travel essentials when it comes to having natural hair. So you are always gonna want yourself good rat tail comb, a good pick. I'm sorry, I can't find my pick right now. I think it's already packed. And a good detangler brush. Whether you like to use the Denman brush or you like to use a big comb, whatever it is, I suggest having something to, to detangle your hair. The next thing that I suggest is some hair ties. So I love these big hair ties. They're really great for when I put my hair up in puffs. Um, I even use it for this hair tie as well. So if you have a preference on wanting, you know, other sizes or other thickness, make sure that you do that for yourself. Which brings me to, I think my favorite item ever, just because I'm an organized freak. And so I have these little guys in there. I have my bobby pins. I have a couple other little clips and then I have just some cute little decorative stuff in there as well. The last two items that I suggest bringing is your go-to leave-in conditioner for refreshing. For me, that is my Neo Curly Curled Poppin' Leave-In. This conditioner is just super light, super easy to work with, and it always keeps me moisturized. So if on day three or day four hair, I'm gonna take my mister, maybe put a little bit of my Neo Curly in there, and then head out the door. So that brings me to my next item, my handy dandy mister. I would always suggest having a spray bottle with you when it comes to be natural, whether it's just a sleepover or it's a whole road trip. Cause water is like my best friend. Like when I talk about moisture, water is, she's that girl. She is, oh yikes. I'm not paying attention to how I'm tying this in the back and I'm royally messing some things up. So now this last item is an emergency item for me. I, just deep condition my hair today and it's Sunday and we're supposed to be back on Sunday. So I usually deep condition my hair every seven to 10 days. But in case for some reason my hair doesn't like the low humidity or something else that she just doesn't like and doesn't wanna behave, I wanna bring a deep conditioner just so I'm able to give my hair a nice reset. And also, sorry, totally forgot but a nice co-wash as well because i'm gonna want to cleanse my hair a little bit before the deep conditioner but this is just like an emergency emergency situation where i wanted to reset my hair in case like this style had more gel than i wanted or you know in case something bad happens <laughs> i just want to be prepared so let's just Run back the list, right? You're gonna have a edge control brush, your rat tail comb, your Denman, and then you wanna hit your accessories. You wanna hit your bobby pins, your hair ties. Then we're gonna go into a nice cleanser. I want a good co-wash. Then I want a nice deep conditioner for an emergency. Then I'm gonna have a good leave-in so I can refresh as needed. And then I'm gonna have my go-to oil, which is gonna be jojoba oil. So, whew, 
if you guys are tired listening imagine how i felt i spent like maybe four hours straight writing out a list of everything that i wanted to bring when it came to like electronics and food and hair and clothes and everything so i spent a lot of time putting this list together and trying to come up with the things that i thought were required when it comes to me traveling and i wanted to bring you guys in on how i moisturize my hair and how i keep it cute because this style is Ooh, let's do that so my braids can be nice and so one of the main things i would suggest when you're packing for a road trip or any other type of trip and you have natural curly hair i would suggest planning for the worst because we know that some days our hair just doesn't act right and we have to have some backup products some good moisturizing products and some products that you can really depend on you don't want to be trying new products on a trip new techniques on a trip you want to be doing what works for you and what's standard for you because nothing is worse than planning a whole hairstyle out from start to finish and trying it for the first time while you're like in another state or another country and it's just not going the way you want because there's not extra time to get ready like you have to be ready that's why i just stay ready with my styles i pick stuff that i know i can do i pick products that i know works for me because i don't have time to be messing around trying new stuff and doing new things and hoping for the best so i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i did i really enjoyed it if you couldn't tell i'm so excited to be going on this trip and now i'm even more excited because my hair is moisturized and my video is filmed <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Naturally Sage. Until next time. <laughs>